It was a smooth hood to coast relay race this year, except for one bizarre crime spree. Safety is always our number one concern. We rely on our participants heavily to make that happen. Deputies say one runner decided to steal a truck near Exchange 24 and run it into a field where people were camping. One woman was run over and hurt. Amazing. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nina Melhoff. That man was arrested and is facing a bunch of serious charges tonight. KGW's Tim Gordon is here. Tim, how's the woman doing? Nita, she's going to be all right. Cynthia Gillespie of Camby was run over and dragged a bit, so it's amazing her injuries were minor. It happened about 2 this morning. Gillespie was taken to OHSU for treatment, and the driver was arrested. This is 36-year-old David John Blackman of Bend in his booking photo. Deputies say he was drunk when he stole a porta potty service truck and drove it into a field where people were resting, hitting Gillespie. At the finish line area in Seaside this afternoon, it was a perfect HTC setting, sunshine, and tired but satisfied relay runners on their last leg. Race organizers are concerned about what happened at Exchange 24, but relieved the runner hit by the truck will be okay. We're thankful to hear that she's been released from the hospital with minor injuries. Her team crossed the finish line just earlier today. is an emotional move, and uh, we love seeing that happen. We welcome them back every year. We're going to do everything we can to make sure it's a safe event. Uh, those who cause harm and can't follow the rules will never be allowed back. <laughs> Whether it's to the coast, Oregon, Washington, Israel, China, they're never coming back. Not anywhere. Blackman faces auto theft, DUI, assault, and other charges. And instead of finishing the race today, he should be seeing a judge on Monday. Dina? Unbelievable. Tim, thanks.